Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to take a look at an Apple accessory that I quite frankly wasn't expecting. And best of all, I bought all the available colors. I'm talking about Apple's newest MagSafe accessory for the iPhone 12 product line. The leather sleeve with MagSafe for iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, 12 mini, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Coming in with a hefty price tag of $129. Should you even bother considering this leather accessory? Stick around as we go over a quick unboxing and I'll give you my final thoughts on whether I think this accessory is worth all that cash. Let's go ahead and get started by rolling that intro. I really hope everyone has been having a stellar start to the year. But getting right into our unboxing, as you can see, our accessory boxes are only getting bigger and bigger while the actual iPhone 12 box in comparison looks tiny when having it right next to our leather sleeve box. There's really not much going on. On the exterior, we find ourselves with our classic white Apple box and on the front, we'll have an image of our leather sleeve in whatever color you decided to get. Which speaking of, as of early 2021, our color selections are limited to saddle brown, product red, baltic blue, and pink citrus, but I'm hoping additional colors will be added later on. To open, all you simply have to do is pull up to separate the two sections, and your all-star new sleeve is sitting front and center. You'll find underneath our overly priced sleeve that we have our literature packet, complete with our classic, designed by Apple in California. Underneath all that is something that at first might seem a bit unusual. If you're not expecting this thingy, you might be wondering what in the heck it is. This, boys and girls, is a leather lanyard that attaches directly onto the bottom of the leather sleeve and while on the topic, let me go ahead and show you how it's installed. It's actually pretty straightforward. You'll have a little diagram inside the box showing you how to secure it. Basically, you attach the end with the two rivets closer together, slide it from the underneath for an easier install, lay over the end closer to you over the little button here and finally, simply by applying just a small amount of pressure, secure it all together so that it doesn't come undone and it's as simple as that folks. Whether you want to have the lanyard wrap around your wrist, your belt, maybe even a backpack, it's unlikely the lanyard will come undone as the rivets are pretty secure. If you feel you won't have a need for the lanyard, I say skip it. It definitely makes the accessory at least appear much larger than it already is. And now going back to our leather sleeve, as far as the unboxing goes, that's pretty much it. We do have a piece of cardboard inside, so remove that for a diagram that shows you how to insert a credit card or two into one of these little pockets, as well as some text indicating that this is a leather product and will slowly morph and age and get that coveted patina that many people are excited for on leather products. And when feeling it in the hands, man, this is a lot of leather. It's a large accessory. The leather is the same high quality leather we have come to expect from Apple. It's soft and supple to the touch while also being very sturdy and is stitched on both sides for extra durability. We can see from our little window here that our inside of our case features that ultra soft microfiber material so that your iPhone is pampered and caressed the entire time because let's face it, your iPhone deserves that kind of luxury. We'll also have have a cutout at the top in the event you have to take a phone call. But it's weird because it's not all that useful as you'll see. When you have your iPhone inside the leather sleeve and if you receive an incoming call, the little window will actually display the information of the number or person who is calling you, which is great. But there's absolutely no way to interact with said window. You see an incoming call, so the natural thing to do is to try to answer or in my case, decline the call from the little window, but nah. Apple thinks you didn't pay enough for such a feature, so you're forced to remove the iPhone from the leather sleeve and answer the call the old traditional way, which is kind of lame and pretty much defeats the purpose of seeing the incoming call through the little window. And even then, if you happen to be on the phone and want to slip your iPhone into the sleeve to talk, it'll simply hang up on you. Guys, make it make sense. I hope in a software update this gets patched. But that's not the only thing about our little window here. Obviously when the phone is in there, you can see the time. And whenever you charge up your phone, whether the old traditional way with lightning or using the new MagSafe charger, because let's remember, the sleeve is full on MagSafe compatible and wireless Qi compatible as well. Anyway, your little window will initially show you the percentage of charge on your phone and will then default to the time with a little lightning bolt to the left hand side, indicating your phone is charging up for some more action later on in the day. But other than that, 
that the window realistically serves one main purpose and that's to show you the time without having to take the iPhone out of the sleeve and the cool thing is that depending on what color sleeve you got when initially inserting your iPhone into the sleeve the time will momentarily glow up matching the same color of your sleeve to tell you the time I mean while that is pretty cool, I don't think it's worthy of $129 at all. I mean, you really got to be on a whole new level of bougie to try and justify this steep price tag. What I do like is that it offers near 100% total protection of your device in the event of a drop. If we look at the back, our sleeve is reinforced with double stitching so that your iPhone is secure and snug inside with very little chances of it ever falling out. We do also have a protruding section for our camera module and of course, the obligatory debossed Apple logo. At first, inserting the phone can be a bit of a struggle, but don't worry. Due to the properties of leather, it should get easier with time. It's just that initial few times you put the phone in, you might even feel like you're about to tear the case, but it's just how leather is. It needs to be broken in with time. But yet again, another downside is that most of us use a case when using our iPhones. I know a naked iPhone is sexy as hell, but if you rock a case 24 seven like me, this accessory is very near pointless. Let me explain. None of Apple's first party cases, whether the silicone or leather ones, will fit inside when installed. You see, herein lies a huge problem for the leather sleeves. You would need to remove your case and then slip the naked iPhone into the sleeve, which begs the question, why? Just makes no sense to me. You could try shoving in your iPhone with a case on, but at that point you risk tearing it entirely. The sleeve is just wide enough to fit the naked iPhone and nothing else. So if you're like me and always have a case on, you might want to pass up on this one. One last really cool feature is that this case can also double as a wallet, but I really don't know about that one. You see, Apple does have their own leather wallets with MagSafe that attach magnetically to the back of your iPhone 12. I've already done a full review on those, so click the card at the top right to check that out. And I love my magnetic leather Apple wallets. They hold about three cards plus some cash and are so easy to carry around because let's face it, in 2021, when don't we have our smartphones within five meters of us? So I know if I have my phone, I have my wallet, as I largely never really carry around much cash. But anyway, with this leather sleeve, there's that pocket to store your credit cards. But is a step down from the actual leather wallets themselves. Again, allow me to explain. For starters, at first, it's gonna be really hard to insert the cards and remove them. Again, that's just the way leather is, and it'll expand and get broken in over time. That's why we have these little tie downs right here to keep the cards secured, and I mean, I'd expect my cards to be snug in there so that they don't fall out. So at least initially, it'll be a really tight fit, but will get better with time. But see, here's the thing. Whereas on the actual leather wallets, Three cards fit nice and snug on those, but on this sleeve, I can barely fit two. Keyword, barely. And even then, removing the cards out with the phone inside is near impossible. Trust me. I looked like a total fool when trying to pay for my Taco Bell and couldn't get my dang Apple card out. Instead, it's easier to first remove your phone and then the cards. But honestly, that's just too much work. So it kind of defeats the purpose of it being a wallet if it barely holds a couple cards and plus they're really hard to take out with the phone inside but if you're okay with this and say carry a singular card for all your needs then hey this might be perfect for you in the end do i think these leather sleeves are worth it hell no are you kidding me do you know what i can buy with 129 dollars why not use those 129 bucks and get yourself a share of apple stock as a matter of fact i think this product is for a very very specific target audience i personally wouldn't buy it to be completely honest i guess if you travel a lot it could be worth it by just tying it to your backpack but then again why not just put your phone in your pocket or your purse like a normal human being you know why the need for a sleeve i mean i get our iPhones are extremely pricey, but damn Apple, 129 bucks for a pretty worthless sleeve. And another point, I'm just more disappointed that the window has very limited functionality. I hope this can later be patched in a software update so that we can interact with the little window. At least then, I think the appeal for this case would slightly go up. 
But there you have it guys, Apple's newest leather sleeves for the iPhone 12 line. This isn't the first time Apple has released expensive leather sleeves for their products. They've done it for the MacBooks and also the iPad line. But I see sleeves on iPhones as less appealing since for me at least, my iPhone either lives in my pocket or is in my hands whenever I'm on the go. Let me know what you guys think though. Would you guys pick up one of these leather sleeves that carry around that exorbitant price tag? Or would you rather spend that money on something more worthwhile like some AirPods or maybe a couple of new Apple Watch bands? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you found it useful or entertaining as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. But with that being said, clocking out for now and I'll be catching you all real soon in my next video.